we're going to talk about what we're going to eat and when we're going to eat it, right? And this is what I call the roadmap to success. So, so breakfast, and, and so they should be sleeping because it helps, it aids in recovery, right? That's one of the biggest things they can do. And that's what makes breakfast special. So what are some good foods that we should be eating for breakfast? What's some good examples? Oatmeal, and what's my favorite kind of oatmeal, like the best kind of oatmeal you can have? Yeah, steel cut oats. And, and this is, one of your daughters does this already, but um, you can put your steel cut oats in water at night, and then they're just ready to go the next morning. Right, so you don't even have to do any work. Just throw them in there. They can wake up and, and you know, crush up a banana or something or throw some blueberries in it. That's, that's a quality meal right there for breakfast. Get them started and those oats have lots of good stuff in them. If you're finding that they, you do that and you feel they need a little bit more fat out of that, you can even put a little bit of, of you know, some type of, of seed oil in there to help them out, flaxseed or something like that. Yep. Yeah, so we talked about that. And so why, why, are, why are sometimes kids not that hungry for breakfast? What do you, what's some good, good thoughts? I learned this the other day, I think, because they're dehydrated. Yeah. I learned it from Kaylee, who learned it from you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> who learned it from back there? Nice. It's this big, like, circle of fun. So, yeah, so I'll, I'll, not a lot of times, but sometimes they're dehydrated. So they're going to bed dehydrated, and things are just not moving the way that they should at night. So, so energy is not being dispersed quality, and so, so they end up not being as hungry in the morning. Your daughters should all be waking up, and sons should be waking up famished. You gotta have all of it. So you gotta have the protein, carbs, and fats with every meal. Uh, that's why something like steel cut oats is so quality, is because it's a very dense uh, um, carbohydrate, but those, but those really quality grains also contain fats and proteins as well. And then putting in the fruit as well adds in the micronutrients. Yep. But doing something like my personal favorite breakfast food is some type of eggs. Actually, eggs in any form is my favorite food. So any way you want to make it. So that's a really good quality one. And then you could put something like do a scramble with avocados and like put in onions, things like that. And those are, those are superfoods, right? And I think that's, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's where you're going with that. We've got to get nutrient dense foods. Yep, and that's where steel cut oats and avocados and salmon and, and I don't know, we could, there's a hundred other uh, superfoods out there. So yeah, so, so we're doing a really good quality breakfast with good food. So it's not the time for, for Eggos that has, that has the protein, carbs, and fats in the morning. So don't leave them just with, with um, some type of cheap cereal, right? That's gonna leave their bodies wanting a whole lot. Uh, we're eating every two hours. And so if they wake up and they're having breakfast at 8, they're going to have their mid-morning snack at 10, their lunch at 12. Or if they're waking up at 6.30 and they're having breakfast at 6.45, then, you know, 8.45 and probably 10.45 for lunch, and then their pre-workout snack just after that. But what's some, what's some uh, so some of the, you guys already said a lot of them, but, but um, apples dipped in peanut butter or some kind of nut butter is a great snack. So Greek yogurt with fruit is a great snack. Uh, pita chips and hummus is another great snack. You know, we're knocking out the protein, carbs, and fats, but it's really quality, so we're getting all the micronutrients in there too, right? So, so something like that to go after breakfast. So lunch, I think this is a time that we can really, because most kids, I've never really heard of too many kids disliking breakfast food of some type, right? Usually there's something that they love. But sometimes, like the vegetable stuff, like I think lunch is a good time to start incorporating on it and I really like to do it with a sandwich. Dave's Killer Bread with you know meat, some, some lettuce or spinach and then a tomato and avocado I think makes a pretty solid sandwich and that's the one where they're going to take a bite of the tomato and they're going to be like mm, no thanks right so so but as long as they take a bite I'm I'm happy with that and that's like one slice of a tomato and not like a whole like bushel load. Thing with, with lunch is we gotta make sure that we give them a, a dessert that helps, right? That little log thing that looks like white cake with filling in the middle. Usually I mention it by name, but since we have the filming crew, um, that's not what we wanna give our kids for dessert, right? That doesn't help them do anything. But we do something like, like uh, ants on a log. Everyone kind of familiar with that? And I like to do like chocolate covered raisins because I love chocolate. And then that's like a really good, that's a really good, does everyone know what ants on a log are? Is anyone not familiar with that? 
So it's celery with peanut butter, and then, like I said, I like the chocolate-covered raisins on there, so to have fun. Why is the pre-workout snack so important? So the energy, so it has to do with energy, and why? It's a long workout. It's a long workout, well, right? Just had a full day. Probably just had a full day, now yep. Full yep, and so we want to prepare them for practice, right? How, how far in advance should the pre-workout snack be? Yeah, somewhere between 30 and 90 minutes. The more heavy needs to be a little bit more. So if you're giving them like a meal before practice, probably somewhere about 90 minutes before. If you're doing, my favorite is half of a peanut butter and banana sandwich on Dave's Killer Bread. But that should be somewhere between half an hour and 60 minutes, right? And so why are we giving them a pre-workout snack? Why does it matter? So we're trying to get energy, but what does that mean? Fuel, mid-workout snack. What should we be giving them for a mid-workout snack? Fruit. Yeah, I think fruit is pretty much the only reason why I say do more than fruit is if they're getting hungry. But if they've done this and this and this and this, and now they're doing their fruit for mid-workout snack and they're still hungry, probably they're growing. Or they're just, they're putting out so much energy that, that their bodies aren't, their tummies are telling them, hey, I need a little bit more food. After practice, right, we're going for dinner thing I want to say about dinner is that I really like to add in superfoods. I think that's a great time, like the broccoli, like the kale, like the, like the salmon, those really good superfoods that we have. Yep. Yeah. And so one of the things my college basketball coach used to always say, after six sticks, right? Not when you just practice for four hours. So you should eat, but you should do it within an hour and a half, right? If it, and I would say really, it's more optimal the closer to practice you get because you have some things that are going on in the cells where after a workout, it doesn't require energy to move stuff into the cell, whereas some normal times it does, but the body's like, hey, feed me, I'm ready. So the sooner we get that in, it goes back and forth in literature. Something came out last year where it said two hours. And the year before something else came out, it said half an hour, right? It's somewhere in between, it's soon after practice, and, and that's the time when if they wanna have something like a banana or a, or a chocolate milk, or, or I, I like the chocolate like nut kind of milk better than, than the dairy, but that's when I do that. It's more optimal then than when they first wake up. Yep. So if you have to drive an hour to get home, then I definitely have a snack for them. <laughs>